What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I've made it my mission to start to give you guys updates on the amount of interest that I collect within positions. Um, but I wanna get to certain points before I start really collecting the interest and not just adding it to the overall um, position there. So restaking that, that amount that I made, restaking that interest that I gained. So I don't wanna end up doing that. I wanna talk about the amount that I've made in interest and uh, break all that down. But we're talking about one specific position that's gonna be an interest builder for me as long as it does pay you interest or pay you some sort of APY. Um, I talked about two positions that I was getting into, one being Algorand, the other one being uh, Cardano, and how I was gonna make those moves over the next couple of months and show you guys how much I'm buying and all that. Well, I did end up making a purchase in Cardano, or not in Cardano, in Algorand. And Algorand is a great position. We're gonna take you through everything that it you know, you know, has to offer here um, when it comes to a price prediction, it comes to the APY, it comes to what are my plans for um, the end. Where do I see Algorand and how it can make a lot of people wealthy. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of those links down below. It does help out the channel. If you're not subscribed and you've been watching these videos for a while, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I understand there are people that come back and continuously watch videos and have not subscribed. I've done it. I'm I'm a person that has done it. I've been subscribed to, or I haven't been subscribed to different places that I watch, and I've noticed that, and I just subscribed. So feel free to do the same. Um, but also, if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, at Perry AK, you can follow me there. So let's talk about this position, right? Algorand, I invested into a while back. I bought, uh, what was it, $1,000 worth, turned it into like $2,000. Um, that increased to about $6,000 worth at its highs. And then it fell down and I ended up selling at about $2,600. So obviously made money from it. I was investing about $10 a day. So you can probably take that away from uh, how much I ended up making. Um, so let's probably take away somewhere around $200, $300 from the overall uh, situation there. Because I didn't invest for a very, very long time. I was collecting interest for um, maybe about three months. And then things uh, took a turn for the worse. Well, actually, it didn't take a turn for the worse until after I sold it, which is kind of lucky. I didn't know that that was going to happen, um, where the interest went away and or got dialed back by a hell of a lot. And now you're seeing the APY that's back and stronger than ever. Um, before it was at 4%, and now we're seeing it at a higher percentage. So let's go ahead and check out Algorand, show you the position. Currently, it's sitting at about 31 cents. You're seeing it up about 1% over the last day. Um, let's see over the last hour if it has moved a 1% over the last hour over the last week you're seeing it down 13% from a high here of about 35 or 36 cents. If we look at it over the last month, we're seeing it down 26% over the last year, it's down 63%. Again, we've seen these highs of about two 290 or something. I don't know, I can't I can't really get to it, 282. And that's where it was at its high, where it was worth $6,000 for me. And I probably should have made a move, but it was more of a, a long-term position for me. It wasn't something that was a short-term position. Anything that gives me, gives me an APY is something that I'm thinking about holding as long as it does give me the APY. If you look here, it has a um, $2.1 billion market cap. You can look at the volume that you see for the day, and it's $109 million worth of volume for 24 hours. Circulating supply is a total of $6.9 billion, so the total supply that you have out there is $10 billion, so there's still some dilution. You're looking at about 70% of the total supply that is out there. If you look at the uh, typical hold time, which is a very important piece, this means that people are holding it for quite some time, and it makes sense. If you're holding a position that's proof of stake, it's going to give you um, more value in holding it for a long time or holding it all at all, right? You're gaining 5.75% APY, which is insane. That's the highest percentage that it's been at before it was 4%. And now it's not only at 5%, it's at 5.75%. You can see the trading activity in the last 24 hours, 95% buy, 5% uh, sell. So people believe in where this is going. And obviously, I believe in where it's going, talking it up and seeing um, how this um, will increase. Now, for me, I bought a little bit of Algorand. 
So currently at 31 cents, I was like, I might as well buy about a thousand. So I bought about $300 worth, which is about a thousand nine hundred forty nine uh, Algorand. <clears throat> so within this process, basically, I'll be earning um, about five, I think, daily. Uh, so I'll be earning a, a decent amount um, daily. And hopefully, I can, uh, it's probably gonna be less than that, but hopefully I can uh, gain more and more as time goes on. So this isn't the end of me investing. I'm, I just started with investing into Algo here. And hopefully, I'm very hopeful that this percentage stays this, this much. Um, but we don't know. We don't know if the percentage will stay at this rate. <clears throat> And um, it all depends on what Coinbase does. They have changed their percentage uh, for a lot of things. For Ethereum 2, they have changed things for Algo. They've changed things for um, you know Tezos. They've changed things for a, a lot of different positions that are there. And um, you know, Algo is one of them. So now, <clears throat> while you're probably asking yourself or telling me, um, hey, you know, it's all great to care about the APY, but what is your price prediction? Where do you see this going for the next, you know, few months by the end of 2022 well um if we start to see a bull run if we see a bear market we could see this pullback even more which would be exciting because really throughout all history um we've seen this down in this level um for a little bit of time you know from 2019 we've seen it down this level the lowest point that we've seen is about 13 cents so we could find a way to get to 13 cents um that gives you so much opportunity to gain in algorand <clears throat> now that would take away from the position that i bought now but it's really just dipping my foot in the water or dipping my toes in the water just to get a, a sense of where this can go and what I can gain from this. But um, once we do see any type of a comeback, um, I think we will start to see it uh, settle somewhere around, you know, maybe this this 50 cent, 60 cent mark, maybe coming up to this 80 cent mark, and then even pushing up to some of these levels, obviously breaking the 100 or $1 mark, um, and $2 mark as well. This definitely can hold at some of these levels with the amount of typical hold time that we have with the amount of volume that we have. Um, and you know, how much this can grow because you look at this one 109 million dollars worth of volume that's more than what we're seeing in something like a a chronos and uh chronos is a a higher coin um, a more popular coin um with more supply and we're seeing more volume go through algorand uh than we are in uh chronos so i'm really hyped uh to say that i'm a part of this position again and i want to continue to be a part of this position i made money the first time and i want to be able to make money um throughout time and show you guys exactly how much i earn in interest and i'm going to keep buying this position and hopefully it could find a way to come down to uh 13 cents because i'll find a way to buy more <clears throat> because then that gives me more value right um and more opportunity to buy so algorand definitely a good position think about it i'm not saying that you guys have to invest into it guys do your own research a lot of people say that for the youtuber safety i don't say it for just the youtuber safety i say it for the fact that um, you guys need to do your own research to make your strategy better to make more money in the end because if i'm not here and i'm the only one that you listen to and you gain money based on my strategy what if i i don't have um what if I don't give you that strategy anymore? What if I don't show you that strategy? What if I suddenly am gone from YouTube? Will you be able to be profitable? You know, that's really what it's about is creating your own strategy, doing your own research and seeing what's important for you to make you money in the end. Anyways, guys, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you in the next one.